so this is my home office. Um, it's Sunday and um, everyone's out of the house and I thought, do you know what? I'm gonna do a vlog. I haven't done one all week. And there's been so much going on. Uh, again, you know, when there is a lot going on, I can't really get myself the time to do this uh, vlogging. So uh, I'm gonna hopefully make it up today and give you an update on what's been happening. So last week I had a phone call from the clients who have come back from Dubai. Uh, they want to use new projects to do their full refurbishment. Boom, excellent. So I went around their house on Friday, uh, shook their hands, you know, uh, everything is gonna be moving forward. They want us to start uh, the 1st of August. So first of all, we need to bring our architect in, Andrea, who can do the um, scope of works. And it needs a, a, a few drawings because they want to do uh, some alterations on the side return and the extension roof. They want to put some uh, Velux windows in. And uh, basically, yeah, it's, it's going to be a partial refurb, not a real full refurb, replacing all the floors throughout the house. Uh, extension, side return, bifolding doors, reconfigure the mansard and um, ensuite in the main bedroom. So yeah, so lots going on there, uh, which is brilliant. And also we have almost signed up, it's only a small job, but it's a loft conversion in Chiswick. It is a small job, but guess what? You know, um, it's tough out there. If there's jobs coming in, take what's coming in. Um, so there's gonna be a little profit, but guess what, it pays the bills in the office and um, keeps the boys working. So um, yeah, two jobs we're gonna hopefully close down and um, start, I think the loft is gonna start mid June. So that's really good. So contracts will be going out, two JCT contracts will be going out for both of those jobs, hopefully over the next sort of week or so. Um, and um, also had a phone call from a past celebrity client of ours. So basically, this uh, lady is on TV a lot. And um, when I was with my old business partner last year, he was managing one of her projects, a uh, house in Fulham and it didn't really go to plan and uh, he kept me away from her because of her celebrity status he wanted to take the glory but by doing that he left himself out in the cold on his own when it went wrong so she was really pissed off really really pissed off and um, unfortunately over the last couple of weeks when the storms were um, happening, her basement got flooded. So um, it's damaged everything. So she phoned up last week and um, I told her the whole story, what went wrong with my old business partner and I. And we're trying to bend, mend, uh, you know, mend these bridges, which were, which were sort of knocked down last year. So I'm going to do whatever it takes to get her back on side. I'm not going to make one penny out of this because, you know, I want to make sure she is extremely happy. And um, the only thing we're going to be doing is sort of putting in a delta membrane system in her basement because um, it was an existing basement which we refurbed last year, but it didn't have any protection, no pumps, no alarm system, no delta membrane. <clears throat> so when it did flood, it's ruined everything. So... That's what we're gonna be doing. All the rest of the job will be done uh, on a cost basis and um, she can pay you know, the, su the suppliers direct. So this is amazing because uh, she has got over 2 million followers on social media and I wanna sort of make sure we can at least get a couple of posts to say how well we've done, a couple of pictures with her and uh, everyone's happy. And obviously that's not the first one that's come back to us after the you know, uh, 2007 disasters with my ex-business partner. It's all about rectifying the problems, B 
being honest, being open, making sure everyone knows what the problems were and uh, moving forward. Because, um, you know, building a brand is about being honest, being true to yourself and showing empathy with your members of staff and most importantly, the clients. Because without the clients, you don't have a business. Um, it's not all about take, 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 sell, sell, sell. It's all about, in these days, giving, 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 jab, 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 and then right, maybe in a, in a few months time, then right hook and ask for something. Uh, because, you know, the competition's fierce and you don't want to have your hand out asking all the time. So I give away as much free information as possible um, and I never ask for anything back in return. Um, so, yeah, last week was a good week. It was the last week of the month, so um, I haven't invoiced our current clients yet. So um, on Monday, I'm going to be invoicing two or three uh, basement projects we've got up and running. Uh, the both of the jobs are well. The two basement jobs are in Mimosa Street in Fulham. We've got two in the same road, and they are going very, very well. Uh, the clients are extremely happy. Um, they're managed perfectly. Um, there, there is variations on the job, which does cause some problems. But you know, if they're if we're doing our open book policy is shown to them, and um, we're not hiding anything, it is what it is. We're building. Uh, what will go wrong does go wrong um, and um, it's not worth hiding anything or covering anything up it's honesty is the best policy so we've got a great management team behind us so if there's any problems the client knows about it straight away um, because we don't want to be you know at the last drawdown issuing an invoice where it has nothing's been agreed um, so yeah what else I viewed two new projects last week as well. Uh, one family buying a house in Fulham. It's gonna be a half basement full refurbishment. That could be good. Ballpark numbers, 300,000 quid, I guess. Um, so they, 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 they basically they're making an offer and we had to give a ballpark figure over there to they sort of uh, put their offer over to the client. So hopefully, fingers crossed, they get it because they're only offering, I think it was like, the property's on the market for 1.6 and they were offering 1.5. So in this market, it's not brilliant. So an offer is an offer and uh, for 100 grand less in the grand scheme of things in a property in Fulham, uh, if I was them, the client, I would take it. And um, another one, a house in Fulham, full basement, full refurb, bill cost. It's a bit tight because it's, this is coming from a design uh, agency who package the projects up, then give them to third parties to do. So I'm not sure if we can get it to stack up, but I want to do the job and I want to find ways of us to bring our bill costs down a bit without compromising any quality and service because we're different to any other builders because of our sort of league because we have a brilliant team behind us we've got contracts managers project managers finishing foremen and all these professionals cost so this has all got to be factored into a job we don't just turn up and um with the trades and hope for the best everything is planned um, so anything we can foresee and change and make things, stop things from going wrong, we will do. Uh, but again, you know, this, what make, this is what makes us different to the other sort of builders. We are, as our old friend said, Miss Kylie Minogue, we are the Gucci builders. So we've got a reputation to live up to and uh, we need to make sure everything goes smoothly. Um, so... This week coming, on Monday, I have got a meeting with a fund um, and I'm taking my buddy Bruce Rippon along because um, they potentially will joint venture with us and fund us 100% of the money. So 100% of the land, 100% of the build and um, we can start doing some projects of our own 
uh, again, uh, starting off small, maybe in, maybe focusing in sort of maybe Putney, Wimbledon, barns, smaller houses, quick turnarounds, less profit but more of it. Um, so yeah, so we're going to be seeing them on Monday at 2 p.m. I know he watches this, so hi Richard. Uh, looking forward to seeing you on Monday. And also we got another we got another fun some buddies of mine in Hong Kong. Um, Adam and Murray again they watch this. Adam Murray, cool. Speak to you later on. Um, you know we're again looking to team up with Adam and Murray to do some joint ventures where we convert houses in Fulham. Putney, Clapham, Wandsworth, Hammersmith, Barnes, so on and so forth, into multi-units. So houses over 1,500 square feet upwards, where we can carve them up into two or three or four apartments. I think the smaller numbers the better, because when you go smaller, pound per square foot sort of goes up a little bit, because you're, you're then going into the uh, first time buyer's market so it would be nice to find a property where we can carve up into maybe four apartments maybe three studios two one bed two two bed apartments and stick them back on the market within six months and have a quick turnaround so that is going to be our business model for that um obviously um Going back to new projects and uh, my collaboration with Agalos Capital, um, who are my joint venture partners in new projects. We're still working very, very hard to bring this mega deal of this hotel and golf and spa. Um, that deal would be closing pretty soon. Pretty, pretty soon. Uh, sometime in June, I'm going to have some mega news for everyone. And this is a a life changing deal, you know. Um, I'm quite convinced it's going to come off. You know, we're all working very, very hard. Uh, I can't tell you anything about it at the moment because it's pretty top secret, you know. And I don't want anyone else to scupper the deal. Um, but it's very, very close. So we'll be exchanging contracts hopefully in June and completing in July. And then I've got a global hotel brand wanting to take it over as their flagship hotel in England. It's literally 40 minutes away, 40 minutes drive from London and probably 10 minutes helicopter from Hammersmith to this place. Mega, 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 mega. You know, this uh, hotel brand, um, I met them on Friday and uh, they're talking about it. They also want to start getting into sort of hotel and residential um, because on, on a hotel investment, it's quite a long term thing. You know, you can spend millions and millions and millions doing the hotel up. And it takes a long time to get your money back. But if you can sort of do the hotel and some residential on the side, obviously you can do the resi and then you can sell it. And that generates money for the hotel. I know they're doing a few projects in the Maldives like this. I think it's the Maldives or Mauritius or something, I don't know, Mauritius. So yeah, a couple of mega things happening. Um, everyone in the office, as I said, is all working hard. You know, morale is very high. You know, I'm trying to, I give a lot of my time to everyone, making sure the team is happy. Um, I'm taking on two more interns, uh, hopefully next month. Right, so everyone have a great weekend, enjoy this weather, and I'll catch up with everyone soon. But please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Have a great day, and I'll speak to you later on. See ya.